Hi guitarists, Garrett Smith here to talk about arpeggios. An arpeggio is the notes of a chord played individually. Taking a triad, such as C minor, C, E flat, and G, play the notes individually, C, E flat, and G, we play an arpeggio. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use the term chord and arpeggio interchangeably. So if I say chord, or if I say arpeggio, I'm talking about the same thing, the harmony. Um, chords can exist in different inversions, and for a triad, there's a possibility of having either the root on the bottom, the minor third on the bottom, or the fifth on the bottom. So there's a possibility of three different inversions. Um, we're talking about root position, that means the root is on the bottom. The first inversion means that the minor third is on the bottom, and the second inversion means that the fifth is on the bottom. So here's a root position C minor triad. C, E flat, and G. And a first inversion will be from the minor third, which is E flat. E flat, G, and C. And then the second inversion C minor triad is from the G. Uh, G, C, and E flat. So we have these three different inversions of a C minor arpeggio. And the way I like to practice this is a good mental challenge is to take one note and then use that for the starting pitch and play a first in root position and then fo followed by a first inversion and then follow that with a second inversion, minor arpeggio. And so if you take it as the first pitch for a root position arpeggio, well we already know that's C minor. So we already talked about that for the last few minutes. So if it were going to be the third, what would be the what is C the minor third of? Now we have to think of a different harmony because C is no longer the root. C is the minor third. So in order to figure the answer to that, I would move down a minor third. And the answer to that is A. We have A here. And so we'll play um, an A minor arpeggio after we play the C minor arpeggio. And then the next question to answer is, well, what is C the fifth of? So C is the fifth. To figure that out, we can go down a fifth. That's F. Another way to figure the answer to that out is to go up a fourth. And it's still F. So going up a fourth and going down a fifth, you'll get to the same note. In a different octave, but the same note, actually. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a C minor arpeggio followed by an A minor arpeggio followed by an F minor arpeggio. All with the starting pitch of C. And this is part of the exercise. It's not just to play it from C, but to play this from any note. And it's a good mental challenge because it gets your brain thinking about the notes and the chords, um, where you're at, and uh, what harmony you're playing. So if, for example, you're on the note A and you're in uh, D minor chord, what are you going to do with that? Um, well, you could play a second inversion D minor chord, arpeggio off, off of that, um, rather than having to jump all the way up here and play your position arpeggio might sound like a big jump and might not sound as musical as you want it to. It might not integrate as well. So these aren't really arpeggios that you want to play stock in a solo. The whole idea of this is a mental exercise to get you thinking about the notes and arpeggios and thinking about how they are on the neck and where they are on the neck. So without any further ado, I'm going to play these at a nice slow tempo of 80 beats per minute eighth notes. Real easy. three different arpeggios, 
minor arpeggios off of A, we can play A minor, and then we can play F sharp minor, and then we can play D minor. So let's do that. just like I'm doing now, but eventually you should be quick enough to where I can say any note. If I say G flat, you'll know that you're playing G flat minor followed by E flat minor followed by B minor or C flat minor if you want to do it uh, enharmonically correctly. Um, either way, you know, but and you'll be able to bang those out instantly without even having to think about it much. And then be able to think about it quickly and quickly so that I can name any note. You can just play them without even having to think about them. It'll just be almost automatic. That's the goal of this exercise, is to get your thinking speed up. <laughs> 